What's up guys, Garden Craft, and we are back, and as you can tell by the title, this is a little bit of a different video, and I have no idea what Miles just said, but, uh, so, pretty much, I'm gonna do, I watched, uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, uh, like, on Friday, Friday night, that's why I didn't upload on Saturday, and, uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get this out today, which I'm recording this on Sunday, cause I've been Christmas, like, like, doing the last minute Christmas shopping and all that, so this episode might be getting out a little bit late. But pretty much, I'm going to be talking about, this right here is the spoiler-free review of No Way Home. And then, of course, I'm also going to do a spoiler review where it's going to do all the spoilers. So don't watch that if you don't want to be spoiled about the movie. But if you just honestly don't care, if I were you, I'd rather watch that if you just honestly don't care. But uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get on to this non-spoiler review. In case you're wondering why I'm playing Spider-Man Miles Morales, it's Spider-Man, come on. But I was going to actually play the normal Spider-Man because he has like the actual like Far From Home suits and all that. And, uh, the main reason I didn't is because I deleted the game, so I'd have to re-download it, then I have to get it updated, and then also it deleted, I tried re-downloading it and all that, I, it deleted all of my campaign and all that, because I'd finished the campaign, so I don't feel like redoing the entire campaign just to knock a few suits that I want to just show off, so, I just got the, uh, prod suit right here, the Uptown prod suit for, um, Miles Morales right here, just because it looks kind of like the red and gold suit from, uh, No Way Home. But, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get into the spoiler-free review. So, anyway, uh, I'm gonna start off with, like, listing a good things why I think the movie was a really good movie and why I think it's really worth watching. So, uh, let me just go ahead and get into action right over here while I talk. Alright, so, uh, let's see here. First reason is because, um, the tone. The tone of the movie changes like really fast and you'll be able to tell as soon as it changes like i mean it'll go from like being like really joyful to being like really serious the rest halfway through the movie and the way it transitions is actually really good the way they switch between the tones and uh yeah it's a really good movie like just because the way they treated it like that sorry i keep on pausing it but uh i was i'm just checking something but uh so, uh, oh, I got more people over here, but, uh, so, let's see here, next we have, I'm just, I'm reading this off of a list that I made, because I'm not going to be able to think of this stuff off the top of my head, but, uh, next we have, alright, so, the movie introduces the villains pretty well, I mean, it introduces them not all at once, but, like, it'll kind of, like, space them out a good bit, well, like, I'm pretty sure, as we all know, Dr. Octopus, you know, from the original Raimi trilogies in there, and, uh, and it introduces him very well. Oh. So. Okay, well I just failed that. But, uh, okay. So, uh, anyway. So, um, it introduces the villains pretty well. I'm not gonna, like, say how it introduces them, because that's spoilers. But, uh, let me just go ahead and go on to the next thing. So, uh, one of the problems a bunch of people have with the, uh, sp like, the Tom Holland, Spider-Man, and MCU and all that is that he doesn't get enough punishments, quote-unquote, for, like, you know, his actions. Even though, I would kind of beg to differ. I mean, in no way, I mean, in Homecoming, he got his suit taken away, and he had to get, go up against Vulture, you know, in his, like, homemade suit. And then in Far From Home, he had his, uh, you know, he kind of, like, has identity revealed at the end of all that. So, yeah, that's, like, very fun. So, I would say he did get his, like, you know, he, he has been through a lot, but in this movie, he gets, like, severely punished. And I'm not going to say how, because that's spoiling, obviously. If you want to know how he gets punished, just watch the spoiler review. But, I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing that if you just want it, if you haven't seen the movie and you just want to be a fresh thing. But, uh, so, uh, next up, uh, character arcs. It had some really good character arcs, and, uh, and I just like the way the characters change and develop throughout the movie. I mean, it's really good. I mean, Spider-Man, he definitely, like, matures a little bit and all that, and, uh, so, I mean, along with a good bit of the villains, they have their own character arcs, too. So, along with, like, multiple other people, like Doctor Strange. And so, they just have, like, all sorts of different character arcs going on in that movie. And they actually do do a good, with all the different people, you think the character arcs wouldn't be that well put together. But they're actually pretty decently put together, I'd say. Anyway, so, next up, um, the plot. Like, overall, the plot of the movie... It's pretty solid. I mean, yeah, there's a few, like, bits and pieces of it that don't make 100% sense. Like, I don't know if I just missed this in the movie, but, uh, but, uh, I don't know how, like, healing the, uh, 
like how healing the venoms like not venom like I'm stupid. I don't know how healing the villains would um really like suit like would really uh and then send them back would really change their fate. I mean I kinda guess it could, but I mean they already died, so if I send it back to that reality after they're already cured, it'd either change that whole reality or they would just like, you know, still be dead. So I don't really fully know what the whole point of healing them was. I mean, it was like they're the only two outcomes I could have thought of, or I missed something, I don't know, but, uh, so, uh, yeah, the plot is, it's pretty good, I mean, it makes sense, but, uh, the main problem is that you gotta have, uh, you gotta, you gotta watch past, like, Spider-Man movies to really understand the entire plot, like, of Dr. Octopus and all the other villains, oh, we got, a uh, crime somewhere, oh, good to know, don't know where it's at, just gonna, just travel up town. But anyway, so, um, next up, uh, the jokes in the movie. I mean, at first there's, like, a good bit of jokes in the movie. And then once it starts hitting that more serious tone, like I did say, the jokes, they don't completely stop with the jokes. They definitely keep them in, but the jokes aren't so much set on to being, like, 100% for joys and laughs and all that. Alright, so let me think here. What is next? Okay, so... That's pretty much all I have for like non-spoilers that I can really that I think I could go over with not without spoiling the movie too much and and uh, so now I'm gonna move on to like what I think the movie could improve in. So first off, uh, you know, like I said, it's harder to understand unless you watch the past like Spider-Man movies, like The Amazing Spider-Man or the first trilogy. So you know that kind of sucks, but uh, you know, like like the big Spider-Man fans, like a bunch of them, like at the theaters, there were like some really good moments where like. Everyone was, like, clapping really loud and all that. But, yeah, you gotta kind of, like, watch a good bit of, like, other movies and all that to kind of understand, like, the villains and their whole reason for them being evil. Like, you don't, you don't really fully understand it. But, uh, so let me see here. Next up, uh, the pacing. The pacing on the movie is pretty solid, except for it's a little off. It's just, like, a little bit off, but it's nothing too major. I mean, like, sometimes it feels like it's going faster than other times, but... I mean, unless you're just there to enjoy the movie, I don't think you're going to really feel a dis difference. The only main reason is that, you know... And to be honest with you, I don't even know why I'm reviewing a movie. I'm 14 years old, don't even take a film class, so I don't even know why I'm reviewing a movie. But trust me, I watch, like, a bunch of YouTube on, like, good movie reviews and all that. And, like, like, I watch a bunch of different, like, YouTubers talk about, like, what makes what can make a good movie. And so I know, I know, I don't know a bunch, but I know, like, a thing or two about it. Like, you need to have good pacing in the movie. Like, you know, I know, I know the, pretty much the basics, but, uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it for all of the, uh, for really the, uh, non-spoiler thing. Um, I'll have another video coming out today, or whenever this uploads, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's gonna come out whenever, like, it's gonna come out, like, maybe, like, 30 minutes, or at the exact same time, I don't fully know, but, yeah, I'm gonna be doing Spider-Man again in that right there, but, uh, Oh, we got a crime. I'm just going to save that for the intro of the next video, because I'm going to start recording, like, right after this one. But, uh, so, yeah, that was the first movie review. I mean, I don't know. I'm probably not going to do that ever again. I mean, honestly, I mean, there's not really that many movies. I mean, I just thought No Way Home was, like, such a good movie, and I'm such a big Spider-Man fanatic that I just kind of wanted to review the movie and talk about why I loved it so much. And why it could, and where it could have been better, but honestly, really good movie, pretty solid. I give it a solid 8.5 to 9 out of 10, something right, or something around there, pretty high up. But uh, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy and you do want to see more movie reviews, uh, you know, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. You know, really appreciate. And uh, yeah, as always, catch you guys next time. Peace out.